Welcome everybody to Above and Below, a Minecraft parkour map. Uh, as you know, I do a lot of adventure maps, and every once in a while, I need a nice palette cleanse, so I figure, let's show off my... I almost said parkour skill there for a second, but I digress. Okay. Just, ooh. Oh, I... Hang on, I'm gonna... There we go. So this is actually... What you're seeing here is my second attempt at starting the map. Uh, I... Didn't really know what I was doing the first time, but anyways, I, I've got a much better grasp on what I'm doing now this time. So the flow of this should be a little bit better. Anyways, so I, I, as I'm sure some of you know, I, I really don't do event. I really don't do parkour maps that often. That is, mm. that warden thing is so cool. The wardens are trying to kill me, knock me off the edge of the platform. I don't know if that's intended to, you know, slow me down or anything, but it's really, really cool. Oh, big jump. Very nice. Another set of wardens trying to murder me. Boom! Nailed it. So I jumped there much better. I'm doing way better this time around. Um, I got stuck on something really dumb that I shouldn't have been stuck on earlier. I would have paid half attention, I, I I would have been fine. Ooh, that was that was a bit spicy. Oh, make it. Nice. Boop. I wonder how long this map is. I, there was some leaderboards uh, earlier. I, I just really didn't pay attention to uh, how well everybody did, but. This definitely doesn't strike me as a uh, as a very brief parkour map. This is very beautifully done. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Oh, that's my spacebar not activating. That's two on the fail count. Oh, that was me miscalculating a jump. That one's, I will admit, that one was on me. All right, get, get back in the flow, and there we go. I remember the last time we did a parkour map. I, you know, it was just fun to talk. You know, it was. Almost, I almost used this as an, as an excuse to vlog. Uh, so I recently did a uh, oh, rocket. There we go. I recently. Oh no. Yep, yeah, that was on me. I missed a. I need to go through these circles. I recently did a. Uh, some sort of like. Uh, training course? I don't know if that's the right word for it, but some sort of, you know, like, knowledge course. Seminar? Uh, training course, I think I'll call it, for, uh, for doing YouTube. How to better, how to better plan videos, how to better, uh, leverage analytics, things like that, and it, it was very, very interesting. I learned, uh, the whole course was like a half an hour, so, uh, it was very, very brief. Oh, I went, got there way faster this time. Uh, to this area, anyways, way faster. I, I haven't... Ooh, that's right. Ice does weird things. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for ice. But I learned a ton about how better to uh, uh, leverage leverage my analytics and, and I'll hopefully make better videos. Uh, the one thing that I've learned is that my click-through rate is honestly atrocious. Um... YouTube is very generous, uh, way more generous than it has any right to be, of sharing my, of sharing my videos. Uh, I don't know if it's finally taken pity on me for being a content creator for so many years, but uh, YouTube is very generous with, uh, with uh, distributing my videos around. But my click-through rate is atrocious. Like I will get, I will get a um, hundred videos or a hundred views on a video with only a 6% uh, click-through rate, which is nuts. So which tells you of the... Uh, the untapped potential that my channel has. I think where my problems have really come in are in my thumbnail design, uh, because I'm not the greatest uh, graphic artist on the face of the planet, I, I will admit that. And my descriptions, you know, I've 
I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. Oh, what was I supposed to do on that one? I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. Uh, oh, I whipped it for seven years, which is which is kind of nuts. I'm not gonna say I'm the first YouTube channel around, but you know I'm definitely a veteran YouTuber, and I've never been able to quite find what uh, I've never been able in those seven years to leave the what they call the uh, the small YouTuber category. It's just the curse. I, it's just the curse. I really... The la the first, like, five years of my YouTube channel's existence, I had no clue what I was doing. I was kind of just throwing videos at the wall and seeing what worked. Oh. Oofed it. We got this. Focus, focus. Oh. Biffed it. But anyways, I was always just kind of throwing things at the wall and seeing what worked. Was it a, was it great? Ew. Uh, the last year to two years, I really feel like I've began begun to understood the how YouTube works, and I think I have a very good grasp on what kind of videos just work. You know, I I really think that the sort of documentary style, almost uh, long form videos. Uh, definitely are very popular. There we go. Yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm focusing here. Ooh, ladders. Uh. Ooh, come on. I, I can't deal. All right. I think I'm jumping. I could be jumping like there. Be jumping there again. Nailed it. Ladders are very tough. Unless if I do that. Oh, almost had it. Okay, I think I got it now. One of these days, I think it would be really cool to do a a parkour video, but instead of like looking at my face, have the have the like the webcam focused on my fingers. Nailed it. So, anyways, what I've seen lately, and I know the videos that I enjoy are a lot of the uh, long-form, almost documentary-style videos. Oh, I didn't even attempt that jump. Good God. So anyways, I know that the long-style, like, documentary-form videos do very, very well. I've been thinking about trying my hand at those. Only problem is, I, I you know, I don't make a living off of YouTube. I don't have the time necessarily to throw at like a long style documentary uh, video, like those things that get up to like. Oh, we're back to Elytra again. Rocket. I want to try my hand at it. I don't know if I would be good at it. I am a very average video editor and very, definitely very average. Uh... Here's the next one thumbnail creator. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting better, but I feel like I'm a very long way off. So either I would need to farm out these ideas to an editor. Farm out these ideas to an editor. I can do I can do everything. I can do all the research. Boink. Ooh. Whoa. Like, I don't mind doing research. What's this? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I am, wow, that's, that was a miserable failure right there, but that's such a cool mechanic. I've never seen anything like this before. 
Okay, this map is definitely... This map definitely knows what they're doing. But yeah, I think it would be kind of neat to do, be able to do like long form, uh, long form videos. Again, I have no problem being a script writer, doing my own research, doing my own voiceovers. But it's just finding these clips. Oh, not expecting that. Oh, diffed it. I've got, I've got no problem with that. It's just, I, it's that video editing and putting it all together. Oh, did the wool change color? Let the wool change color there for a second. It was gray before and now it's white. Huh. Oh, I get it. Yeah, the wool changes color. That's so cool. It's something minor for me, but... I mean, you may think it's lame. I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, either I would need to hire a video editor, which is expensive. Or I would need to get really good at... I hit the space bar there. It did not go. I hit the space bar there again. I promise, I hit the space bar. Okay. Ha! Ah, nailed it. I know, maybe one day I might hire just, like, some editor. Like, I'm not super good at video editing. So it wouldn't take much for my editor to be better than me. But I know the structure of how a video should go. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been very fortunate to meet uh, uh, in my in my time as a YouTuber to meet uh, some people in the uh, who have done damn near professional uh, uh, videos for. Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? That was awesome. And checkpoint. I've been very lucky to meet people in my in my time uh, doing YouTube that either, ooh, that they either do video editing for a living, or uh, or work for people who, uh, or or do production like that, do like that high level production. Uh, so I I know how. So I know how a video should be edited. I've just never been trained on it, but you know you spend enough time around. The masters, you, you pick up a you pick up a few things, but just because I know how a video should look doesn't mean I know I know how a video should. Uh, I don't know. Just because I know how a video how a video should look doesn't mean I know how to get the job done. Maybe I will hire a video editor in the future. Maybe I'll call in some favors. But I think I think trying to tackle like long form videos would be really really cool. Uh, one of the guys I've been watching, uh, Dosh, Doshington, he does factorial stuff. Very entertaining to, uh, very entertaining to watch him, and he and he uses a very dry, cynical sense of humor, which uh, is how my sense of humor works in real life. But I, I like his, I really like his delivery, and I like, I just like his subject matter. He covers Factorio. He he covers a wide variety of, of gaming topics, it seems, and I find that to be very interesting. I find him to be very interesting. There it is. Where's the next one? There it is. I know this isn't conventional parkour, but this is really cool that this was included in on a uh, on a map like this. Ha! Butchered it there at the end and still made it. I am... Ooh, I'm almost done with this map. Ooh, that's a... That was a really weird jump for me for some reason. Oh, the buses are moving. 
Okay, that's... That's so cool. That's so well done. Ooh. Oh, I gotta do the best thing again. Oh. No, come back. All right, here we go. Once more. Almost there. I don't think there's another set of buses following us. Now this is just a nice, gentle jump. Nice. Oh. Butchered it there towards the end. Damn it. I feel like I'm making pretty good time. And for not typically doing parkour maps, I'm... Oh wait, I've got to jump from bus to bus. Well done. I've never seen a mechanic like that. Crap. I got to get to the other bus. There we go. I got to jump back to this bus. Okay. This is so cool. I, I'm enjoying this very thoroughly. I... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me again? No! Come back, bus. Come back. Thank you. I hate that I'm really butchering it at, like, the last possible second here. Like, these jumps I'm trying to make are not complicated jumps compared to the other jumps I've, make I've made. Set. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is it, it's like a. Okay, uh, odd mechanic to say the least. I, I honestly think kind of a waste of a mechanic, but. Oh, might come into play a little bit later. What is with that jump? Okay, I got this. I know I got this. Ooh. I just accidentally... Wait a second. Huh. There we go. More city buses, okay. Oh, I need to, oh. For a minute there, I thought I, I pretty much had lost it. Oh! Okay, that one, that was fast. Wow. Okay, that, that was very poorly done. Oh, the last checkpoint. Oh, the second to last checkpoint. Oh, I bumped into this wall here. Okay. I failed to jump on that one. Ooh, this is... Okay, these are like frame-perfect jumps I gotta be making here.
No way. Okay. That's a spicy jump. Oh, bumped into the wall. Okay, I got it this time. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I had a really good flow there. I don't even know what I was doing on that one. <gasps> I had it! Flow. Hip. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Didn't go with the flow. Woo! Last elytra. Let's go. Very gentle. I got two rockets on that one. I've got two rockets, so I got a little room to spare. Oh, I'm done! Oh, I got an A time. 83 deaths. Yeah, I sucked. Cool, I got a B rank. That's... Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me submit my score. I guess I'll do that later. That was a neat map. I definitely enjoyed that. That was fun. A nice, quick little parkour map. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Yeah.